A new report says Maine is home to some of the worst rural roads and bridges in the nation. Good afternoon. I'm Rob Caldwell. And I'm Cindy Williams. Only seven sta states ranked worse than Maine when it came to road conditions. Eight ranked worse for having structurally deficient bridges. The report was done by TRIP, which is a national nonprofit transportation research group. It found 26% of Maine's rural roads have pavement that is in poor condition. 15% of its rural bridges are structurally deficient. New Center's Chris Rose joins us now with more. Chris? Well, Rob, this report comes as no surprise. That's because Maine had these same low rankings last year when that same report was released. Maine's rural roads and bridges may be in rough shape, but people who oversee the state's transportation infrastructure say they are safe to travel over. Senator Ron Collins of Wells is the chairman of the legislature's transportation committee. And there may be some that need some, some upgrades as far as paving and whatnot, but uh, structurally everything is sound. Making sure roads and bridges are safe is what the Maine Department of Transportation does by prioritizing. Limited funding for projects go to the state's most pressing needs. Keeping up with them is a challenge. Every state's transportation needs always exceeds available funding. That's just a fact. You can talk to any state. Uh, what we do is prioritize. We prioritize our roads, our bridges, our ports. MDOT spokesman Ted Talbot says currently the state spends about $70 million a year on upgrading its bridges. But that's not nearly enough. What we need is double the $70 million to keep our bridges safe and extend that lifespan. Coming up with more money for roads and bridges is the difficult part. Increasing the gas tax is one solution that would target all main drivers, but politically it's not a very popular move. An alternative is requiring a toll on interstate highways such as 295, which would target visitors too. There are other alternatives other than just simply increasing the gas tax. Increasing the gas tax should be the last thing on the table. And funding is something federal officials are struggling with as well. The National Highway Trust Fund runs out of money at the end of this month. States Maine, like Maine and other states, rely on that funding. So Congress is now scrambling to come up with at least a temporary fix to keep that money flowing to states. But over the next 10 years, that fund is expected to have a deficit of nearly $169 billion. Rob? Chris, thank you.